Hello, I'm Nathan Hoven, Superintendent of Francis Howell School District, and I want to spend some time talking to you today about the reopening of school and what the first days of school are going to look like for our students and staff. We know that the health and safety of our students, staff, and families are top of mind for everyone, and we agree. For that reason, when we rolled out our reopening plans a few weeks ago, we included both in-person learning and virtual learning as choices that families could make. After that came out, our families, 25% of them, chose the virtual option for their students. That choice has led us to need to realign our schedules, our master schedules, and teaching assignments for our teachers to be able to accommodate all of our families' wishes. That has caused us, in some cases, to ask teachers to teach courses that were different than what they planned on when they headed into the summer. To help our teachers best prepare and to get our schedules ready for those uh, robust classes we know that our students deserve, we've decided to move the start of the school year back by one week. So now we will start school on August 31st. Teachers will still report at normal time in order to get ready for the classes they're going to begin teaching both in person and virtually. Our reopening plans for school looked a lot like many other districts plans. We are very aware that school districts in St. Louis County, many of them have chosen a virtual start to the school year. And we know that members of our community are wondering if we're going to do the same. As much as they work with their county health department to help them guide their plans, we also work with our county health department on what our reopening plan should look like. In addition, we seek guidance from the CDC, the American Academy of Pediatrics, our State Department of Education, and the Missouri Department of Health and Senior Services, along with other data sources. As we consider the guidance from all of these different sources, one of our big tasks is to balance the benefits of in-person school against the risks that COVID brings to us. We know that for most of our students, they're gonna do their best learning by being in-person in our schools. With in-person school, however, we know that there's a chance that COVID will enter our buildings and we cannot guarantee that it won't. For that reason, we have built plans around how to handle it should we find out that there was a positive case of COVID among any of our students or staff. In order to minimize the potential spread of any positive COVID cases, we've put many protocols in place, and I'm gonna highlight just a few of them for you now. We are requiring that all staff wear masks, as well as all students third grade and up. In addition, we will highly encourage the use of masks for students younger than that as they are able. We have also worked throughout our buildings and all of our classrooms to space student seating out as much as possible. In addition, we have added hand sanitizing stations as well as hand sanitizer in all classrooms and will encourage frequent hand washing and other good hygiene habits. In order for this to be successful, it is the responsibility of everyone involved to play their part. That is students, staff, and families. One key point is masks. If we're gonna expect our students and staff to wear their masks at all times when they're in our buildings, we need help from families at home in order to reinforce that behavior. Another key point is COVID-related symptoms. In a perfect world, we want all students and staff to stay home if they have any symptoms from the COVID list. If a student or staff member does arrive at school and starts to display symptoms while they are there, we will take quick steps to make sure they are able to go home and isolate as soon as possible. We know that the COVID situation is always changing and we will continue to work closely with our health department to monitor how it evolves. As of today, we are ready and prepared to see our students in person who have selected the in-person option. We will continue to work with our health department and if any changes to our learning structure should happen to be necessary before school starts or any time after the school year begins, we will communicate that to you. Thank you for taking the time to watch this today and we look forward to a safe and productive start to the school year.